This is a Hooked on Nails monthly collaboration. And the theme for this month is Beach. And I don't even have a base down yet. I'm still trying to get the design figured out what I want to use. Um, what I really wanted to use isn't here yet and time is ticking so I need to get this done. So I'll just have to use what I have on hand already. So I'm going to do some nail stamping and try to get some good shots on it. So maybe if somebody's out there struggling with stamping, I maybe I'll be able to help them. I don't know. But if you are having problems with nail stamping and you have any questions, I would be happy to help you if I can. Just leave me a message or you can DM me on Instagram if you'd like. My name there is Tammy's Manny's. So let me figure out my base and get that all on here and then I'll come back and we'll get started with the design. I'm thinking I'm going to use part of this as the base for like the sand. I got this from Jillian Lewis for my birthday, my last birthday in September. And I just love this. It's hollow. But I think it would make good sand. It might be a little dark, but I've been wanting to use it, so I'm going to go with it. But I hope the stamping will show up on top. We will see. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll be back. So you want to make sure you have a sticky roller so you can clean off your stamping heads before you stamp and in between stamping. I'm using two because I'm going to be doing reverse stamping and then you're going to need your acetone and your stamper. I like the stiffer ones. And then whatever polishes you're going to be using. These are from Maniology. They're lacquer polishes. You can use gel, but that's a whole new ball game. And I didn't like how that picked up. It was almost, I think it was missing a little bit on the hat. So now I'm going to turn the plate again and try it a different direction. I'm trying to take the excess off. Usually that works, but it didn't this time, so I'm just going to take a piece of tape and take off whatever I don't want on the stamper. So I'm doing the reverse stamping first so I can color in on the stamper and then it has time to dry while I do some, the other stuff. So I'm going to do that first. So let me color her in real quick. And I'll be right back. Now I'm going to stamp my Surfer Dude Surfing.
Take the excess off. I don't want on there. That was a good pickup. Now I'm pressing down and then I'm going to move from side to side real gently. And that came out nice. I know you can't see it. it was this far away now this is sticky base and you put this on the nail before you put the stamping on and it will help the stamping to stick so you don't have to hurry I don't always use it but since this is I'm gonna need time to do this part I'm gonna use the sticky base I'm going to put some feet print on this nail, but I don't want all of those. Plus, the nail's too long and it's not going to fit the whole nail. So, you'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm just kind of eyeing it, looking at it, see what I need to take some off. Like the half feet print, I don't want on there because it's going to look stupid. So I only want the full feet print on the top the way the feet are walking forward if you know what I mean and there they are and then I'm going to come back to the snail because I'm going to do something else with it well, I changed my mind from what I was going to do. I'm just going to put this pair of sunglasses up there. So Much simpler. And that's it. That nail is done. It just needs to be top coated. So I decided to do these little flip flops. And I want to color in the sandal part and the strap so I need to do this so I ha it has time to dry I keep changing my mind what I want to put on there so bear with me so I'm gonna just color that in and give it time to dry I'm using a toothpick because the straps are so tiny and I'm just using the tip of that toothpick I wish I would have went with a different color for the flip-flops because after it was all said and done I didn't really care for the color and I wish I would have went with a different color for the hat too. Maybe a yellow or a blue but it's done it is what it is. So. Just gonna finish these and put it aside and let it dry. So instead of doing this whole image at once with one color, I'm gonna break it up. The middle part is like a knotted rope, and I want to do that part in brown, so I'm just gonna pick up the rope. And then I will do the lettering separately in different color. And the top part says I need vitamin C you know S E A and then the top part says I'm feeling beachy and I like the way this one came out I think it looks really nice I 
I like this plate. It's picking up really good. This plate's from What's Up Nails. It's B056. And I will be using another image off this plate. Actually, two other images. And that's it. That nail's done. It just needs to be top coated. So I'm going to put my sticky on this nail because I'm going to put my uh, the first image I did with the lady when I painted the hat. She's going to go on this nail. Now I gave it a few minutes to dry. Just a couple minutes is all you need. You don't have to wait that long. And here she goes. And she looks like she's looking out towards the ocean, which I haven't finished the ocean part yet. So I'm going to add a little more scenery to this nail and make it look better. So I'm putting in some palm trees. Press down lightly so you don't hurt your stamper because you can put cracks in your stamper if you're too rough with them. So that looks nice, that looks better. Um, I'm going to come back and do the ocean a little better. I'm going to put some more colors in there. So I put stick, sticky base on this nail already and now I'm going to put the flip flops down. I believe it was the flip-flops. No. I picked up another image and it didn't end up getting recorded, but this was the image of the sand castle. It was just a little tiny piece that didn't want to stick, but it was no big deal. So now I'm going to put a little more sticky base on the bottom part in case it got wiped off so I can put the flip-flops on the bottom oh I think it looks so cute I'm sorry you can't see it clearly. I will have to remember to do it closer when I'm stamping like this. So I top coated everything that I'm going to be painting on now. I did it in matte. I top coated in matte. So now I'm just going to put some colors in the ocean to make it look better instead of just one color of plain blue
Okay, everything's been top coated. And this is what they look like. I did leave the pointer finger matte just so you'd be able to read the writing without there being a glare from the lights on it. They will, will be a picture at the very end showing a better close up because I know it's hard to see with the glare and everything so but I think they came out really cute. There will be a link down in the description box of the other ladies that did videos for this collaboration. So please go check out their videos. And there will be uh, collage pictures on Instagram on our accounts also. Some of the girls don't do videos, so there will be pictures on there of uh, their image of what they did. There, I was trying to zoom in a bit, but I think the picture at the end still shows better, so. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope if you are stamping that maybe I helped a little bit. I, I don't think this video was too great of a how-to. I will have to do a better one in the future. See my little surfer dude? I did put a little bit of glitter in there on the ocean. Yeah, it looks a lot better in person than on camera. Even the uh, the sand, it's it's hollow and it's not showing up very good on the the video. But it looks totally cool. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye.